starting off our adventure. We are so excited. We're about to go on the longest trip that we have ever been on in our lives, which is going to be six consecutive weeks out of a suitcase. I think before that, the longest we did was maybe like five. Every time we go to New York? Oh yeah, four. Four, and then one time when I went to Miami before. So, like five. So for me, anyways, wow. I think because you were home when I went to Miami that one time, yeah. I think I did five weeks before. So this is one one jump from that. We have done month long trips to New York a couple of times, which we're headed back there for three weeks, which we are so excited for. If you guys follow on our channel, you know that we love New York City so much. We love spending time there. We've contemplated moving there before. For now, we love just spending longer stays there so like a couple weeks to a month at a time is kind of the sweet spot for us right now who knows what the future holds i will never say never about anything but we're just so we're so excited and happy to be like heading back because we love it there so much so that is our first stop for three weeks and then we're headed to europe for three weeks after that we are going to a friend's wedding in italy in mid-october so we are going to road trip around france yeah france to italy france to italy until then so three weeks in new york three weeks in europe with a road trip it's gonna be so fun and we have some some tea to spill today <laughs> just tea about ourselves so we've been like a little bit stressed well especially me about packing for a six-week trip because I'm just like the math ain't math and like how am I making this work and I want to wear like fall outfits because summer is sadly ending fall is here I love fall fashion I want to get into that but also the weather is still really nice in New York and it's gonna be nice in Europe so I'm like I just don't even understand what I'm packing we're going to fashion week so it's just been like crazy to pack for and we were gonna pack all day today and then our flight was at midnight tomorrow and we we're gonna pack all day tomorrow too since the flight was super late well <laughs> today at about 12 it 12 yeah. 12 30 maybe no i think it was like, it was a like one. one yeah so today at 12 i mean one clayton was looking Checking at his email, email and he's all oh shit and I'm like, what? What does that mean? And then he's like, our flight is tonight. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, just freaking out. So then we just went into like, super drive. Yeah, crazy mode. Packed everything up as fast as we could. We're just like, okay, I guess we're making this we're work. Today. Yeah, which. It was confusing because it's a midnight flight or 11.59. Yeah. And like our hotel starts on the third. I don't know, I just got confused. It's hard. Yeah. That, yeah, that's a valid yeah so good thing we noticed um and it was just really chaotic and we like found out now we'd probably still make it work it would be really chaotic but i mean it was chaotic but it's all good so we are surprised going to new york to ourselves surprised to ourselves going to new york one day earlier than we thought so that's kind of fun but we do already have like our hotel and everything or whatever um organized like it did make sense on paper so luckily we're not sol yeah. um but yeah so this vlog is going to be a new york city vlog we'll probably have two more in new york after this right mm -hmm. which i know a lot of people love the new york vlogs so we're excited for those and we're just ready to get back in the city have some adventures um fashion week we're gonna go to the u.s open yeah. and yeah we're we're doing this long trip because we have the wedding in um, october october but then we had some opportunities to go to new york this first couple weeks of the month right so we're like instead of coming back out might as well just stay out there like twist our arm to stay in new york yeah we're always looking for an excuse and then the flight is so much shorter from new york yeah. to europe so we were like let's just let's just make a month out of it yeah, yeah. 
excited. Stay tuned for the adventures. And we're off. Hey guys, we are settled in to our place here for the next couple weeks. We're actually only in this Airbnb for two weeks. Um, it's different than the place we normally stay out here. It's a little kind of studio setup. Got a couple windows. Although these are like pretty big windows, it's pretty dark in here. So that's kind of brutal. But when we turn on all the lights, it helps a lot. Thank you. We got a quick little tour. So here's our little bed, unpacking. Cute little mantle. This is like a original oak floor, she said. They're really pretty. So I'm not sure what year this is, but they're definitely very old. The character is insane. Character is amazing. Here's a little kitchen. We're using it as some luggage storage. Are these penny tiles or no? These are hexagon pennies. Well, I think they're just hexagon cafe tiles. They're penny really tiles cool. are the round ones. Mm. Yeah, super so cute tiny, little yes. kitchen. Yeah, it's small. Um, and here's our little bathroom for the next two weeks. But it's a good setup. Love all the rugs in here too. I know. Like it's really cute. And we're tree level, so that's neat. But the tree also is blocking a lot of the light during the day. We're gonna head out now for dinner. We're gonna do our, uh, what do you call it? We always, traditional. tradition, yeah. We always go to Oleo Pew. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Why does that sound so weird when I said Oleo that? Pew. Um, for dinner when we get in, like the first night. Yeah. So my man's made That's what we've done. So this so is cute. our fourth first night. Our fifth first thing. So like, like our, our fifth, fifth extended stay in New York. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's our fifth time going to Olio. Oh, let's show them our outfits. I just got these barrel jeans from oh, wow. Abercrombie. Peyton loves them. They're really cute. I normally size up an Abercrombie, like one size, but I just got my true size in these, 25, and they're, they fit really nice. Do not have to size up these ones. I just like like the baggier pairs to be extra baggy, which these can actually be cute, extra baggy, but I just went the regular size. And then this top is from Revolve. It's like a little vest. My ballet flats are shop bop. My bag is coach. My earrings, it's pitch black in here, so you guys can't see anything, but my earrings are from Princess Polly. You look so cute. Yeah, baby. I'm wearing my car jeans. I'm wearing the heck out of these. Go get some Italian. This is cute. Starting with the salad, this is a Caesar salad. It has apple apples in it. It's so good. I've never had another Caesar salad with apple, but it, it's some uh, fresh pepper. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Also, the croutons on here are so good too. Like I've never had apple with Caesar salad, but I don't know if you know what I mean. I'm not like a big fruit salad girl, actually. But this one, the apple. Slice. I, I really don't like the berries. In Probably very unpopular. Yeah. Okay, we're going to our first New York Fashion Week event in our pitch black apartment right now. I haven't talked about this yet on the vlog, but I haven't been to Fashion Week for a few years. And to be like completely honest, I have never had like a super positive experience going to Fashion Week. It's just not really my vibe, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to explain and I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer and I don't want to complain because I feel very grateful and blessed that I can like do things like this and experience them, but I'm just being honest that it's not like my favorite thing to do. So I was in some ways dreading it. Like we were coming to New York anyways, mostly for the US Open because we got an opportunity to go to that and that is literally like Clayton's dream to go to and I've been really getting into the tennis too, watching it. So we're super excited for that. It's the same time as Fashion Week. So we're like, okay, we'll just like go to Fashion Week too, I guess, and attend a couple things, give it another whirl. Hopefully I have a more positive experience, but I don't know. All that to say, we're going to our first event for Fashion Week tonight. And here's maybe an example of why I'm not cut out for Fashion Week because I don't even know if I'm saying this brand the right way. I probably have spoke about this before, but where I grew up, like fashion isn't really a big thing. Designers isn't like not a big thing at all. Nobody I grew up with had like designer bags or anything and fancy things like that. So I'm not super well versed in all that type of stuff. I have always loved fashion and thought it was super fun but I didn't grow up in like a fancy fashion way. So anyways, we're going to this event tonight. How do we think we say it, babe? I mean, we could just Google it. I, mean, I think it's Long Champ. <laughs> I think it's Long Shop. 
No, it's a long chomp. It is. Long Just chomp? Good. Long chomp? Okay, long champ. Long Chomp, you guys know, I'm sure. It's like a well-known brand. I mean, really should know how to I say I always thought it was Long Champ. Maybe it is. It's not going there. Long Champ, French Long Chomp. Okay. French Long Chomp. So I'm saying it like Chomp Long Champ, day. French Long Chomp. Long Chomp. Like okay, but, but they said Long Champ. Okay, I don't know. Long Champ. I think French. if you're like, probably like, if you know about it, you say Long Chomp. Yeah. So just being real with you guys, we really don't I like know. Long Champ. I know, Long Champ is cute with little horse, they have a horse logo, right? Yeah, Long Champ. Anyways, we're going to their like presentation tonight. It's like an event, it's not really like a traditional fashion show, I don't think. So these are, or Clayton changed his outfit, but I'm wearing what I was wearing all day, because I feel like it's good enough for this. I think this, these boots are from Reformation, they're old, and then this, this is actually a romper. So it has shorts underneath, which is, so freaking cool and it's suede which is a huge trend of fall and i think this is gonna be so cute layered like when it gets colder with long sleeves turtlenecks tights it's so cute it does run a little big though i had to size down i originally ordered the small and then i got the extra small and i feel like i always like things like this to be really tight so i wish this was actually even a little bit tighter right through here like that but if it's really nice, it's super cute. And then, King, show us your outfit. Oh, it's a major sleigh. These are these Ame white pants I've had so long. We almost got rid of those, good thing we yeah. didn't. And then, uh, this is that vintage, what brand is it again? Polo? Vintage Ralph Lauren. Yeah, that uh, we cropped. That we cropped. And then I just got these new green gazelles. Oh, I love that spin move. In the mail. I love that spin move. Green gazelle. Cute. Like that? Yeah. So <laughs> that is kind of good, actually. That is kind of good. You'd be like... That was good. Right foot up? No, right right foot up. Oh. Behind you, kind of. Oh, okay. So, like, these shoes... No, no, no. Yeah, but you step it down. So, right foot up behind you. These shoes... Yeah, step it down. And it's good. <laughs> Tonight we kicked it off with our first event, the Long Champ, Long Champ, as we were discussing, and it was fun. My, my review and my feelings being back at Fashion Week, I still feel like Fashion Week is the vibes are just something about it is like hard for me, which I actually know a lot of people feel that way too. I think some people like love it, but obviously you see people. At these things you talk to them about it and a lot of people have like similar feelings so it's kind of normal but it's just a okay what i don't really like about it is super chaotic which i'm a very chaotic person so you'd think that wouldn't be a problem but i also love organization like even though i'm very chaotic in the way that i live my life kind of i'm super organized too and i really appreciate appreciate organization and what happens at a lot of fashion week things there's always like a line right like this huge group of people waiting to like get into whatever it is a show a presentation an event blah 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 and there's always just like a huge line and then people in charge of letting the line in or whatever and everybody has you to show your invite or whatever on your phone and people just like cut the line and they'll be like i need to go in there or whatever and you can kind of just from my experience with so many different occasions on Fashion Week, and also like I saw this happen yesterday, there is just like people who, there's people that just like work their way in and they're like, I need to get in, whatever. And really they have like the same kind of access or whatever that you do, but they'll just be like more aggressive and they'll, and then you can like go to a show or something and have a seat assigned to you like on your little QR code or your email or whatever, and then you could get inside to the show, go find your little seat, 
and there could be someone sitting in it and you're like, oh, this is my seat. And they're like, oh, this is my seat. And you're just like, okay, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, it's just very, um, I don't even know. It's very like competitive, which I, I'm not like a competitive person and I don't like the feeling of competition. Like when I was younger and I would play sports, I literally just wanted to play sports to like hang out with my friends and for the social aspect, but I didn't care at all about winning. Like I've just never really, and like with board games and everything, like I don't care. I'm just not competitive. So maybe that's what I don't like about it. But definitely last night, those vibes were there. It was like, we were in this one line and we were waiting. And then this girl who worked there would like come and take people from the back of the line that we were in and be like, you guys are coming with me because you're from this line. But we were at like the front of that line that was like the same category and like it was just so chaotic. I'm just like, what is going on? It was fun though. It was cool. I liked the way that it was decorated and everything. Like the green was so pretty and cool. And then we saw people that we knew. We saw friends. So that was nice. Like I love to see people and everyone's honestly super super nice. And like even people that you don't know that you'll meet. Like there's some really nice people. So that is cool or whatever. But I also think that maybe I just get a little bit overstimulated at places like that it was really loud it was basically like being in a club you had to like scream to talk to people which i never really liked so maybe i was just like ah. from that and then the other thing that i actually really love about fashion week like the one my favorite thing about fashion week and the best part about it in my opinion is just seeing everybody in their outfits because oh my gosh people look so incredible i appreciate their their styling and their look and everything so much like people absolutely crush it and they just look so cool and it's super inspiring so i do love seeing that i was telling clayton last night i almost wish like the way because i love that part so much i wish the way that i could do fashion week would be to um be like oh god that was like a really bad contour line would be through the lens of like a photographer or something because I'd love to be there and be taking pictures of people's outfits and like appreciating their outfits and their look and everything without having to be like a person, I don't know, waiting in line and like waiting for a seat or something like that. Like I don't like that vibe of it, but I love seeing the people in their clothes. So like not just the models and everything. I mean the people like attending things too. Like they just look so freaking good, you guys. I wish I could like take pictures of them, but I feel like that's creepy. But yeah, that's like the best part. So I'm just gonna try to focus on that and enjoy that and bear with the like chaos and unorganization part because that is what's hard for me. And that's just like a little honest reflection and review of what I feel like at fashion week so obviously that's not what it's like for everyone like I said some people love it something about it for me is hard I'm just telling you guys to keep it real but like I said before too I'm very grateful to be here and excited and I know that it's like a cool thing that I will look back on with some happy memories one day but part of me is just like ooh could you without the chaos the big crowds or something not like big crowd girly anymore either as i've gotten older i'm just like yeah i don't really like that like i used to like going to concerts and stuff a lot more now i'm just like mm, small crowds only please okay and now something exciting that we're going to do for fashion week that i've actually never done before so i don't even really know what to expect but i feel like it will be exciting and fun i have high hopes for this so going to a fitting for Alice and Olivia. So what that is, is like the brand wants to dress you like for their show or presentation. I can't remember, is that what a presentation? It's a presentation. Yeah. So when you go and you attend it, you're just like wearing the brand that's doing the show or the presentation. So going to do that for Alice and Olivia right now, which I'm really excited for. Their clothes are so good. And yeah, I've never done this, so hopefully. <laughs> It's a fun, good experience.
All right, we are out and about again. We just had lunch at Ruby Rosa, one of our faves. So good. And Delaney had a really good fitting this morning. It was awesome, actually. The girls were so nice and just made it like so lovely. The outfit was amazing. The outfit was amazing, but I think I have to wear a different one. Yeah, they. What did they say? They said it's not exclusive enough. Yeah, so I don't know if like somebody else is already wearing it and that's the reason or what. I just want but... you in a certain outfit. Yeah, so I think. Showcase something more unique, I don't know. Yeah, so I think I'll have to wear that on a different occasion because I think I get to keep it still, which I'm so excited for because yeah. it's literally the most beautiful outfit ever. It looks stunning. Um, the color was so beautiful on you. So we'll see what I wear now, but they were so nice. I was nervous. You know, you never know. The vibes, like I told you guys, at Fashion Week can just be weird. Nice. But they were literally so nice and so kind and helpful, so it was really good. Yeah. And awesome. now we're going to a showroom for Bolare, which is a PR that I have been going to Bolare for like the whole time. Eight years. Or like Seven years. Six years, maybe. Whenever we moved down. Um, and Zach, who works there, is like a friend of ours now. So we're gonna go see him and just like pick out some cute stuff. So that'll be fun. the US Open. So excited. Definitely a bucket list adventure. This is gonna be sick. Like an hour cab ride over there, so gotta head over. A little early. This is my outfit. Nana Jacqueline, little shorts. How cute is this? little shape. The back has these bows. The little tiny shorts. That's really cute. I like that. So chic. Coachy bag. So, so chic. Matching headband. You're looking very chic too. It. Wimbledon. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> She's going to Wimbledon. Long term. Oh. There's band-aids everywhere. These are the vibes. Stoked to go to the match. It's Fritz versus Tiafo. It's an All-American match. First All-American semifinal at the US Open since 2005. Insane. So some history here today. I probably don't like this chewing noise. But we've been talking to people that we've seen in town and stuff and they've been giving us tips and tricks on what to eat and drink mm -hmm. at the tournament. So got some good stuff to try out or some good wrecks for things to try. Yeah, we're super excited. Look at the Unisphere. Unisphere? Wow. She's got the first compliment on my outfit. It looks so good. The matching headband. Cinderella. Cinderella goes to the US Open. Can we warm enough? Nope. It's cold, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's not as bad inside. So we're here with Aveda guys. So we're so excited. They gave us tennis rackets nice. and then we can actually go get them embroidered. Or, yeah. Or monogram, but yeah. A monogram embroidered. So cool. And then look at the little bags. Yeah. Taking good care of us. So cute. Look at these bags. How cute are the bags? Ace your hair game stop. It's so cute. Also their new um, shampoo and conditioner, the thickening one, is supposed to be so good. So That's I this one here, that. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Kemper was using it the other day. Yeah, and my mom, we just got my mom some. Yeah, She's I gotta try it out. I can use some thicker hair. Clay's getting a racket. What's How up? stoked are you? This is the best event I've ever brought best you to. <laughs> so cool. Okay, Clayton's getting the green in this spot. His name on here. 
so cute. All right, first honeydews, honeydews taste test. Okay, cheers. How is it? It tastes like I'm gonna be getting <laughs> No Uber, no Ubers for you tonight. I'll be out of here in an hour. <laughs> I'll be in bed in an hour. Do you like them, man? It's like so good. Yeah, it They're is. So cute, it's too. like tart. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. This is like a time warp. We didn't get home from the US Open last night until what? One. 30, maybe. 1 a.m. But it was so much fun. Such a cool sporting event. And the match was amazing. It went five sets. Taylor Fritz won. That was really special for him. Bummed for Tiafa though, but somebody's gotta win, somebody's gotta lose. And like he got so far, that was awesome. Yeah, Tiafa did great. So, definitely if you're into tennis, like that's a really cool event to go to. Um, it'd be really awesome to go to like one of the earlier rounds though because there's like 15 courts or something or even more than that, I don't know, there's so many. And if you go to the earlier rounds, you get like grounds pass. So it's like, it's literally, we were calling it Disneyland for tennis. Yeah. Because there's just like courts everywhere. There's like, Places to shop, places to eat. It's like a Disneyland food court plus tennis, pretty much, right? Yeah. Food and tennis. Yeah, and everyone is like very chic there. Yeah, it's, and it's a chic Yeah, super cool. Super happy we got to experience that. Uh, you guys saw Aveda was doing customized like racket covers. So I got this one with my name on it. I got a new Babolat racket. Always wanted to try one of these. So thank you Aveda for that. Super nice of you guys. Super stoked. Also, I couldn't leave without getting some sort of merch. Mm -hmm. Got just like the traditional US Open hat. Standard. So yeah, that's cute. And then I also got the special towel for this year. Uh, Ralph Lauren. So they have cool merch too. Like. Got a busy ass schedule today though. We got a big one. Busy ass, busy schedule. Delaney's dressed up. Dressed up. She's, Damn, she's going to Damn. the. Uh, we wore what presentation? We wore what presentation? You look so cute, babe. Thank you. I love it. I really like that outfit. You do? Yeah. You look amazing. These ceilings in here are 12 feet tall. It's super tall. Insane. Yeah. We're struggling a bit in here, but we are gonna survive. Well, it's just small and then like, oh. I mean, it's actually not that small, but our stuff keeps going it's everywhere. It's just dark. We turned the kitchen into a storage room because we're not cooking much. 
It actually just got kind of bright in here. When you have on every single light and then a little sunlight comes through, yeah. it is kind of bright. Right? It's uh, seeable. Pit stop. Outfit change. Outfit change. So and he's doing the <laughs> influencer decathlon today. What do you got? Three outfits? Three outfits. Five events? Literally. Is that true? Or is it just three events? No. Was there one tonight? Yeah. Four. Four events. Oh yeah. Four events, three outfits. Well you'll probably do a fourth outfit for that one. Next stop though. We are going to Aster, the label. I think their collection is like workwear focused. So I have on this little sweater vest and some shorts. I'm gonna change yeah. into my heels that Clayton carries in his bag like an absolute king. And I got the jacket. Oh yeah, and I have a trench, but it's like freaking hot outside it's hot. right now. And we're and it, flipping it. It rained a little bit this morning. Yeah, so it's like muggy. A little gross. So this is the this is the in between what you have to do to survive. Yeah. You could take it at Uber, of course, but you know, it's like not my steps. style. We out here. We out here. The full look. Cute. First Sunday of football season. What else is new? Get to wear my Raiders t-shirt in vain. Is that right? Would that be a good saying? What? Wearing my Raiders t-shirt in vain. I don't know. I don't know. In whatever. Solidarity. In solidarity. Well, like when they lose, you know, it's like you're doing something in, in shame. In shame. <laughs> Wearing my Raiders shirt in shame. Start of football season. What else is new? They lost. But we are, or Delaney is going to go to another show tonight. She got dressed for this one. I'm gonna be her chauffeur, and then we're gonna go to dinner afterwards. She's wearing this super cool outfit though. You look absolutely amazing in it. Thank you. You guys should have seen what it took to get me in this corset. It was a TikTok. It was a Tim, Tim effort, Tim. Yeah. Looks so cool though. It's called Frollo. It is so cool. Frollo. Sabrina Carpenter wears this brand. Nice. Like on her tour. You look like Sabrina. Slay. Like... So cool though. So cool. I'm stoked about this one. Yeah, this is awesome. I think it's at like a museum or something. Yeah, Academy uh, Academy Mansion or something. Who knows what it is? Should be a cool spot though. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm gonna bring that little black purse. Absolutely beautiful. Surviving, not thriving at this moment because well last night was super fun at Frolov. I met this girl that I followed for a really long time on Instagram. You guys might know her, Rachel Spencer. She's so cute and her <clears throat> her husband Dylan, they were both there and they were so nice. <coughs> and the clothes 
were beautiful. I had lots of fun. And then we went to St. Ambrose last night for dinner and it was really good and really cute. Okay, so anyways, we went to St. Ambrose. It was really cute and the food was really good. Definitely a good spot. We had never been there, but we had seen it a lot. So that was fun to like tick off. We love eating in the city. That's like our favorite, one of our favorite parts of the city. So that was all good. And then we came home and if you guys don't know, I'm sure most of you do by now. I've shared this journey quite a bit on my channel before, but I am missing a tooth, this like eye tooth. I was just born without it. Like when my baby tooth fell out, there was no, like no adult tooth ever came in. So I've gone through so many things in my life for taking care of that tooth like if you have had dental issues you know like I have spent so much time and money at the dentist and the orthodontist and everything and so yeah just been through hell for that well the gum by that tooth was like a little inflamed the last couple of days so I bought these like flosser sticks like fuzzy ones you know and was trying to like alleviate that whatever last night I was doing that and my tooth popped off so which has literally never happened i've had an implant since i was 18. that's like when you can do it because your jaw is fully developed or whatever so i have had this for well over 10 years and that has never happened before my tooth has never come out off of the actual like screw so i was like oh my god what the heck so Immediately when it popped off, I just pushed it back on and I haven't really touched it since like I just ate an acai bowl and like chewed on the side of my mouth I'm just being super careful, but I'm like pretty concerned because that has literally never happened and it just seems so strange So I found a dentist online this morning and we're headed there now Hopefully they can <clears throat> Hopefully it's an easy fix. Hopefully it's not a big deal. I'm so nervous because Like I said, if you know if you've had dental trouble it can be just like a never ending thing. I'm just like, please, please don't have this be a big deal. Please just like be able to pop my tooth right back on and solidify it and no big deal. So that's what we're hoping for guys. Send prayers, we'll keep you posted.